Hey guys, I don't know why I'm behind this chair, but I'm about to go to the Atlantic event for Matoma's documentary movie thing. I'm really excited. I'm gonna take you all I know I'm dancing. This song's really good, isn't it? I'll link it below or something if you guys are keen. <laughs> That was an amazing night. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and the edit was fire. That was a good edit. Yeah, that was. <laughs> this guy knows who he's doing. Yeah. So we spoke the next day, and Toby said, "Oh my God, this guy Tom. What's the story? I, 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 I think I need to follow him. There's, there's just something here that I just need to document." So we spoke and immediately made a plan to to start this and. Two and a half years later, here we are. So I just want to introduce Toby uh, to us for a start, the director who put this amazing film together. I'm thankful for you guys to come out and see it. I'll pass over to Toby. Drum roll. Yeah. Yeah. I never met a guy like Andrew, as he told me, um, or, you know, it was in New York after Marquee, or on the Marquee show, I met uh, Tom, and I just met him a couple of times before, and, uh, at the Marquis show, I started thinking backstage, like, I really wanted to see a documentary about this guy. Um, but there was no documentary about Tom, so I had to make my own to do that. Just yeah. So this is a documentary by me, for me, so glad you could come to the little tweeting nights. Uh, no, but uh, as uh, Andrew mentioned, like, the day after, I actually sent, like, a long email to Andrew. Um, just like this guy, Tom, he's amazing, you know, uh, I didn't mean to pitch you a whole documentary here, but here it comes. <laughs> and it took five minutes, I was uh, on my way to the airport and he called me, or you called me, and you told me, uh, I love it, let's do it. And I was like, okay, this is the quickest turnaround I've ever seen. And a month and a half, uh, and a half later, we were uh, on the road filming Tom. And uh, so, uh, Andrew, uh, this is crazy amount of uh, loyalty you gave, you gave me. And give you give, give, give a big applause for that, seriously. And now we're here. As you can see, I brought the Norwegian weather with me, so I feel just at home. I'm so glad that everybody here could come. I see so many beautiful faces in the audience. Ah, I love it. But this is a fun project, you know, because this project is a very independent project. Uh, like, we can be honest about that. It's, uh, uh, you know, the... Uh, the billboard you see on Sunset will cost more than the whole movie, so you know, this is, this is great. <laughs> and, and, and with that, it comes like a, a whole lot of trust, as I mentioned, and um, it's just been such a journey and a long journey to follow Tom, um, one of the most unique human beings, not in the music uh, industry that I met, but also in life in general, and I really mean that, and um, yeah, it's just been amazing. And, um, like the, the, the creative freedom that you guys have uh, given me uh, making this and the, the rawness that I could follow you like hands on in meetings with Atlantic, in meetings with Andrew uh, on your ups and downs and everything I think the result is a movie that showcases um, uh, you know, a different angle that I haven't seen before and um, I'm really proud of it and I really hope that you guys enjoy the movie as well um, since I had creative freedom, I made the movie it's four hours long. Lock <laughs> <laughs> <Off> the doors. <laughs> or do I? <laughs> no, it's one hour and uh, 17 minutes and 32 seconds. <laughs> 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 
But yeah, um, back to Tom. And actually, Toby is a uh, comedian. Stop it. Yeah. a comedy seller in New York. But yeah, I'm gonna make this. Uh, I'm gonna round, round this up, and um, it's just been an amazing team effort from also my guys at Expect Film, Style and Johan, who's also has been filming this and. Uh, That's, that's the end credits for you. Uh, that was it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and um, Tom, not at least, you're a really amazing guy, and um, it's been a really pleasure to make this project with uh, you, and um, I hope you like it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say a couple of words before we wrap up. Um, I remember the first time I met uh, Toby. Uh, it was, um, we, we have like common, like, the same type of uh, friend in Oslo, in Norway, and we met um, up in the mountains. And I was, I was thinking, and this was way before I knew anything about Toby, and I was thinking like, who is this crazy person? <laughs> that, you thought that. <laughs> and, and, and in a good way, like he, his craziness was just like, it's so raw and so, Genuine, like he, he, he didn't care about anybody else, like he was himself. And I really, I really looked at him and I, I thought like, holy moly, that's a person that I, I, I could self see myself being friend, friends with because I got inspired. And then I met you more closely in New York uh, uh, and yeah, it was, it, it was just amazing uh, seeing a person genuine to a project just you, you you came there and 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 that night was just for fun but still like you're you you oh, we're gonna do it like this we're gonna do it like that and you just like your your perfection because you already knew how to do it i've, I've never seen anybody in, in that industry do it the way you have done and you're a magician when it comes to to document people's life and um, and um, you have an amazing crew, amazing girlfriend um, that supports you. And, uh, Sorry about the late night, Leo. <laughs> and uh, I'm just utterly proud of you. And I'm also utterly proud of Andrew, uh, my manager. Yeah. Uh, and I'm so proud of my agency, Ferry. Uh, And I'm, I'm proud of, of my girlfriend that's not here. She's having an exam in Norway, uh, so she couldn't fly over for that. But she's going to be able to be able to this baby. Uh, but back to Toby. No, but I'm not done because he <laughs> took the next hour on No, but he, 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 he's, he, he spent two years of his life documenting a guy that are just a regular guy. Uh, I, I see myself as a regular guy. I'm just, i grown up in a small town uh, in Norway, uh, being surrounded with amazing people, having the opportunity to come from a country that gives you the opportunity of, of freedom. Uh, we have free education, we have free schools, we have free healthcare. And it just, it, it, it gives you that, that way of living that when my brother said to me, Tom, I remember this when Ferry called me and, and, and he wanted to sign me as an artist and he, he was so persistent and, and I was afraid, I was so afraid of like jumping on that because it's a big commitment because you don't know what's out there in the world and, and that scared a guy from, from a small town but then my brother said to me, um, what do you have to lose? What do you really have to lose? And here I am, just on those phrases of words, I jumped on that plane and I never regret it. And I've met so many people. Oh. <laughs> that truly inspires me, that I look up to. <laughs> I 
with that uh, uh, his movie. <laughs> 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 så langt unna hjemme, og så er det utsolgt. Det er ganske... Det føles ganske greit, men det legger ut press på meg, da. Og så, for seks måneder siden, så, så var du liksom ikke forberedt med at det ble musiklærer. style and I really feel like it got inspired from it. You really see Pama is such a journeying person and I felt that the two times I interviewed him uh, just like such a nice guy um, just so open with everything and all around you just kind of feel really happy around him. I love the personal shots the most that he filmed of Tom there were some really unique moments in his room or struggles. They even portrayed the bad side of the music industry. Like they found coke in his, or like he found coke in his room and he was like, that's not allowed. Or when he couldn't play because of some technical issues or his reaction to bad reviews online. And I'm glad they covered that. Um, some things that I feel like could be improved on. I know it's like out, but just um, some things that I felt, maybe comment below if you guys agree. But I feel like there were a lot of crowd performing shots and I feel like there could be a lot more personal moments and I would like to see like one, um, one performance that kind of embodies him as a performer rather than like a lot of small shows. I would have liked, I don't know, he, his director probably asked 
these people and they probably said no but I would have liked to see an interview with his mom, interview with his dad, something more with his brother, like his brother is such a cool personality and he really like lit up the screen, I really want to see that. At the end, he has a really heartfelt note to his girlfriend. I thought that he was gonna propose, and it's. I like that they typed it out in the end, but um, I would have liked to see her more in the in the video. Like maybe she didn't want to be in it or something, or there like was a reason for that. But in that case, if she didn't want to be in it, I thought I think a lot of people are wondering why his girlfriend, who's a big part of his life, wasn't more in the video. Um, maybe they could have like added something so it like clarifies the narrative but overall I really want to watch it again when I get home I think it's going to be on YouTube I'm not really too sure they didn't really say about how or when it's coming out um, kind of wish they did a Q&A at the end kind of like how they did with at the glitch mob one uh, so yeah hope you guys watch it on YouTube Matoma is such a sweet, humble, awesome guy, so yeah, I'm really excited for him.